About a year ago, I started talking to Scott Cruz, the psychic, and he's told me things about my custody battle, about my kids, about my husband, about my business, and so far they've all come true. He's a magic man? Oh my God. Tell me something that he told you that came true. Everything he's predicted has come true. I even told him that Ryan's having a boy, and he said, no, he's not, he's having a girl. And I'm like, no, he's having a, she's, they're having a boy. The doctor says boy, he's like, nope, it's a girl. Really? Yes. And then he told me that my grandmother was sitting behind me brushing my hair and she was laughing and she says, you know what? Now it's my turn to brush your hair. So I said to mom, I go, what does that mean? And she goes, you used to sit and brush your grandma's hair over and over and over again. I didn't even know that. I was little. Really? How the hell does he know that? I don't know. Things going on in my life. Hello, like, I will... Tamara. Oh my God, we finally meet. I know. How's it going? Oh, I guess you must be Scott. <laughs> Hi. This is Scott. Hi. Hi. Scott. Hi, I'm Heather. Nice to meet you, Heather. And nice Megan. You. Megan, I was nice to meet you. Oh my God. So I You're so just... cute. I didn't picture that. You didn't pick what you picture. <laughs> Not cute some, and built. Some, some old <laughs> yeah, I, I, crystal ball. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. I was. So do you want a drink? I know you're a whiskey drinker. I do love whiskey, yes. Well, let's get him liquored up and make him toss the drink. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Good clothes start coming off. Oh, shit. Free spirit, this just starts coming off. By the way, I wouldn't mind seeing the spirit. <laughs> if he was a good psychic, wouldn't he have known I wanted him to come in with his shirt off? Scott, when people sit with you, do they ask you questions or do you just read them? Uh, it really depends, because usually in normal circumstances, I actually spend 15 minutes of meditation before every session, because I want to make sure I'm specific, especially when loved ones who cross over come through. Wow. That's a, that's a kind of a, needs focus with that. Which your grandma like, was like, knocking at me she just kind of saying she wants you to know that she's like there and she should make a weave so I don't know it's like you guys are like tight-knit type of thing it was kind of this blending between you your child and her when I had my twins I named my daughter after her the choir of this but when I looked in her eyes like right after I had her I knew she was there and I would talk to my grandmother because that's I just felt I could right. see I really? saw her in there yeah my grandmother was just the most interesting bright woman and to know that she's around and watching us makes me happy. What about you, though? Man, I just like, it's almost like I'm gonna throw this, this plate, like, I want my own child type of thing with you. I see one. Is it my bio? It's your own, it's your own. Yes, it's your own. But you gotta allow yourself to break yourself down to where you actually release. You, you hold on to a lot of things. I do. You're trying to find out who exactly you are, and that's what you have to allow yourself to do. Take the facade away and find your place without knowing what you think people think about you. It's so funny that Scott says that I need to focus on myself and not others because Jimmy's always telling me that. So it's like I'm listening to my husband again, which is like the last thing I wanna hear, but it's okay. So we have a friend, Shannon. She's kind of been a rocky road with all of us. She's made a comment that I was a stir. Why do I, I, I feel the problems with her and Shannon. She definitely has some kind of hatred towards Megan. Why is she picking on me? You're a threat. To what? Just a threat. I always thought that Shannon feels threatened by me in some way. Apparently there's some truth to it. We actually have a friend, um, Vicki. Her mother just passed and her boyfriend has cancer right now. She does have a, a great heart. She does. Um, and uh, she's very, uh, hold on. Give me a second. I don't know, here's the thing. Maybe I'm picking up on the energy of people who think about that. I have a wishy-washy perspective on that. On what? So that's why, on, on the, the cancer issue, it's just wishy-washy to me. I just don't see it. So he doesn't have cancer? It's, it's very possible. You don't see cancer at all? I don't know. I can't imagine someone would do that. Who would fake cancer? I just don't have a place in my brain for that concept. Why would somebody do that? I knew somebody who did that. Really? One of my old coworkers, she was on disability for so long because of her cancer that she never had. What? But why do you do something like that? She got a lot, a lot of sympathy. I'm shocked that people would do this, but I've seen it. It happens. But here's the thing, I'm not saying he is, I just don't see it. That doesn't, I'm not a guru, I'm not Gandhi, right? I don't see that, but it doesn't mean it's not there. I, I don't, I think it's too sensitive and I don't wanna offend somebody if it is there. I don't 
think that it's a good idea to tell anybody what the psychic said because it's gonna turn into a big ugly fight that I will probably get blamed for because Vicky blames me for everything. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Great. Vicky Gunvalson is officially done with Brooks Ayers. I'm really devastated that I feel like I got taken advantage of and duped. Late Tuesday, Vicky tweeted to one fan about her ex, quote, I don't talk to him, nor will I ever speak to him again. This man is sick. The tweet came after some new revelations were made earlier this week about Brooks' alleged cancer treatments. On Tuesday, the hospital Brooks claimed to receive cancer treatments from released this statement to ET. City of Hope has not provided any cancer treatments to anyone by the name of David Brooks Ayers. Brooks had previously provided documents bearing City of Hope's logo as proof he had cancer. But on Wednesday, Ayers confirmed to E he had fabricated the papers. Brooks